All right, beauty, so forgive the quality and everything for right now. <laughs> hey, um, I'm quickly going to show you how I store my clothes. Um, and my ultimate goal, honestly, is to get rid of over half of my stuff. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'm kind of in between sizing. I don't feel confident really in anything that I have right now. And I'm also kind of trying to steer away from my old style. I have so many pieces, y'all, that I've had for like five plus years. So I'm just ready for a change. So I'm going to show you where I store everything and then we'll get started. But I have all of my bras, panties, and socks and stuff in this little drawer cabinet situation over here. Um, and then all my clothes are right here in this dresser. I have tank tops and then like short sleeves, long sleeves. Um, and then all of that is leggings. That's my dirty clothes pile. And there is popcorn. <laughs> so that is where I store everything. And then, of course, we'll head over to the closet. I'm literally just going to try to place this to where y'all can see the drawer or see what I'm holding up. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to say yes or no and I'm going to make a big pile on my bed. And basically I'm going to have a keep pile and then a for sale pile and then a needs to go into the trash type of pile. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to throw everything on a bed into the piles and then at the end we'll see how much we've decluttered. Again, I'm aiming for half. All right, beauties, this is the best I can do. Hopefully it works and it's okay. I'm gonna start with this little bra right here. I literally only tried it on. It's supposed to be a 40 triple D and it is not. It is very tiny. So that is gonna go into our for sale pal. Um, this little tank right here, super cute. A friend of mine gave it to me, but it's only a large. Um, and I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to get into it, but it's super cute. So I think somebody else would appreciate it. So we're gonna put this in the sale pile as well. I have my shirt from Caleb graduating. I will probably never wear this because I don't really wear t-shirts, um, but it's cute and of course it's meaningful, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. Next up is another piece that Debbie gave me. I'm wearing one that she gave me. Thank you, Debbie. Um, I love this tank top so, so much. It is super like flouncy and like soft and silky. Um, it's beautiful and it fits really well, so I'm gonna keep that. Next up, I have this little army brownish something colored shirt um i have a very long torso and big boobies and this just does not fit right um i just got it and i only was able to wear it one time it's just not long enough for me for me to feel super comfortable wearing it so it's gonna go as well next up is this cute little tank top i think it's supposed to be a pajama top i'm not really sure um but I think it's super cute. It is a little small for me, so I think I'm going to put this in my maybe pile for right now, just because it's a little short. We'll make a maybe pile. <laughs> Next up, I have this shirt from American Eagle. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to declutter all of these, just because they're all really big. They were kind of oversized to begin with, so I think most of these are going to go as well. So we'll put this in the first sale pile. Next up, I keep saying I'm going to declutter this shirt. Um, it's just kind of like an underneath cami type of thing. But I love it, and it goes really well with this one particular dress that I have. Um, it's old. It's stained, but I wear it underneath stuff, so I'm still going to keep it. That's going to go in the keep pile. Next up is just a cute little cami. Um, I have a ton of camis and tank tops. If you did not know, I always wear a cami or tank underneath my clothing. Um, I call them sweat catchers. Anybody else? <laughs> Um, so I want to keep this. Next up is another tank top that my friend gave to me. And this one is an extra large and it's also a longer length. So it actually fits me pretty well. So I am going to keep this. I really like it. Um, and then I have some gifts in here that I have to take to my sister. That's it for that drawer. And I'm sorry the angle is not ideal. I will try to hold them up for you guys and show y'all though. Um, first up, we have a UTI shirt. Which of course, duh, I'm going to keep. Um, I haven't worn it. I just don't wear regular like t-shirts. Like I don't like turtlenecks, mock necks, anything like that. But of course it's super important and special because that's where my baby is at. And it's hot as shit in here. Our bedroom is the bonus room so it stays pretty hot up here. So if you hear my air, I'm really sorry. Also, if I get hot, I'm going to definitely take some of my drink. So it's just, it's a shit show. It, it, it's always a shit show here on my channel. I'm sorry if you're new. <laughs> Next up, we have this cute little mesh top right here. It's actually getting too big and I'm so upset because I only wore it like one time. I think I'm going to keep it through the summer because I actually bought this to wear in the pool. If I maybe get a little bit too burnt, then it gives me some, you know, more sun protection. So for now, it's a keep. Next up is this yellow shirt right here. Also pretty new, but it is way too big on me right now. And that kind of makes me sad because it's yellow 
it's flouncy. I love the fabric of it. So it makes me sad, but it's got to go. That's going in the for sale pile. Next up is one of the shirts that Kate sent me in our swap. This is also a little too big now, but because it is a slightly lower cut of a T and plus, I mean, it's cute and I love Kate. I am going to hold on to this one for a little while longer. Next up is another one of the American Eagle ones I was talking about. They are just, they're nice, they're comfy, and I don't mind oversized. Hey, popcorn. <laughs> and I don't mind oversized, but they're just a little too big. So this is also going to go in the to-go pile. Next up is this shirt that Caleb actually got me a couple of years ago in a like my teenage son buys my clothes type of video. Um, I'm on the fence because as you can see it's huge <laughs> um, and it's actually more like a dress on me now which is a good thing but I love it and it's super cute and it was from him but it's too big so I don't know. Y'all comment below and let me know should I just keep it to sleep in? or give it away while it's still in good condition. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the stay pile for now. Next up is another top that I got from Kate in our swap last year. This is a cute little love shirt. I love the colors. So for now, I'm gonna hold on to that as well. I think I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm doing okay. <laughs> Sorry all you guys get to see is, is this. Um, next up is this cute this little shirt. I love the color. This is like my go-to in the fall. So I am going to hold on to this. I think that it's going to fit beautifully by fall time. Next up is another one of the American Eagle shirts that I had gotten last year. Um, again, they are all in great, you know, great shape. They're great quality. I love that they're not too high cut of a tee, but they're all just way too oversized right now. So that's also going to go in the go pile. This little green shirt right here is the exact same thing as kind of the army dookie greenish khaki colored shirt. It's just too short. It's got to go. Next up is this cute little like v-neck little like cropped moment that you can, you can tie up. I love the color of it. It fits really really good so I'm going to keep that. Next up is my Be Your Own Best Beautiful shirt. Um, this actually fits me pretty well, even though I don't wear it all the time. I do like it. I like the sentiment, so I'm going to hold on to that for now. Next up is this cute little, like, button-down Henley-style shirt. If you see fuzz, I'm very sorry. Um, going to keep it. I like it. It is verging on being a little bit too big, but I'm going to hold on to it for the summer, and then maybe when I do, like, a fall-winter declutter, I'll get rid of it. But for now, it's a stay. Next up is this cute little holiday tee. It is also big, as you can see. Um, but I think I'm still going to hold on to it. I think I'm going to try to wear it for a holiday this year, and then I'll go ahead and get rid of it or maybe change it into a nightgown. So it is a keep. Next up is another Be Your Own Best Beautiful top. This was actually a little too tight on me when I first got it, and now it fits really well. I also love that it is a v-neck. They are my favorites. So it is a keep. Next up is this cute little, like, white v-neck. It's just plain. It has, like, a high-low hem to it. I honestly just don't really wear this, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the to-go pile. Next up is this cool little like burnout tee. It just says Chevrolet on it. Um, I really like this and I like that it's thinner again because I wear, you know, tank tops underneath my clothes, but it's not really my vibe anymore. And it's also pretty big. So we're going to put that in the to-go pile. Next up is yet another <laughs> American Eagle tee. Uh, yeah, I kind of went ham on buying all these. Um, again, it's just too big. That's got to go. And then last in this drawer is my High Babe tee that I got from Nicole Concilio merch. Um, as you can see, the couple of t-shirts that I have said that I wear, I had to cut them. Um, I hate that because this was expensive. Um, it is a little bit too big, but I think I'm going to wear it as like a night shirt. Plus, I mean, hello. It's cute as hell. Um, yeah, I like the shirt, so I'm going to hold on to it. We're going to move on to the next drawer. All right. First up, we have this big old comfy t-shirt that says Be Kind. It is also running theme too big, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the to-go drawer. Um, I have this cute little top that I got from Torrid. It is a sleep top. I actually got myself and all my little besties one of these to match when we stayed at a hotel one night for girls' night. Um, I haven't worn mine yet because obviously it got, you know, hot outside, but it's super cute, so I'm going to hold on to it. Next up, I have this two-piece little set right here. It's a cute little, like, cheetah print and then the top. I kind of got it to wear it as a bathing suit, but the top is a little bit too big and I'd hate to just keep the bottoms. Um, I never did wear it. It's still brand new. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the to-go pile as well. Next up is actually one of my favorite tops. My sister and I both have this exact same shirt. It's a cool little like v-neck, black and white stripes. Um, and I like a longer fitting top, but one that is kind of more form fitting to the body. This is perfect for that. So I'm going to hold on to that. Next up is this cute little, like, I guess, cold shoulder style top. It's super cute. 
Um, it fits well. I like the drape to it. It's really soft, so we'll hold on to that. Next up is yet another American Eagle tee. <laughs> Uh, running thing, they're all too big. <laughs> Here is another American Eagle tee. Oh my word. How many is that, y'all? Five or six? Then I'll pass it on. So, is this really pretty, like, salmon colored v neck? Um, I think I got it from, like, Sports Authority or something like that. Um, I am gonna hold on to this, even though it is a little bit bigger. It's not, like, super oversized, and I love the color, especially when I get tan in the summertime. So, we're gonna keep that. This shirt right here is actually one of my favorites. It's so beautiful. I love the color of it, I love the cut of it. Um, it has like a beautiful soft kind of slinky feel to it. So that is a stay Okay, I'm gonna pull the rest up here. This is a really cute like Peter Pan collar style shirt that Miss Kate got me in our swap I love this shirt so much. It's beautiful. I'm keeping it for now. I have this really pretty little old navy top um, It's got that same kind of fabric that I really really love. It fits really nicely keeping Next up is another little old navy top kind of the same vibe. It's very kind of like slinky and super, super soft to the hand, and these are pretty new, so I'm gonna keep those. Next up is this cute little top that I got, I think from Rural Aura a very long time ago, um, and it was slightly too tight on me back then, but it fits beautifully now, so I'm gonna keep that as well. And then I have this top right here, also from Kate, that is also way too big now, and I'm so sad because y'all know, I mean, just like she knows, obviously, this is the running thing with the green, um, one of my all-time favorite colors. It's just way too big, so we're gonna pass this along. We are over here to, this is basically all leggings and workout stuff. I'm literally just gonna hold it up. They're all about the same thing. They're either plain black leggings or they're LuLaRoe leggings. Um, excuse the air conditioner, I'm sorry. Um, we have a cute little Christmas pair. I'm gonna hold on to these just for now. I have these green leggings. They're just a little bit tight around the waistband. They're not like super soft and stretchy the way LuLaRoe ones are, so that's gonna go. I have this really cute heart pair. Um, I think I'm gonna keep these for now. Again, I'm trying to get rid of most of this. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. I have these cute like 90s like mixtape cassette um, leggings. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the for sale drawer. I don't even think I wore these. If I did, I wore them one time. I have these cool like Frankenstein's Bride or Bride of Frankenstein type of leggings. I think I'm also gonna go ahead and let those go. Again, I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can. So let me stick these back in here. The next drawer is also all leggings. I know guys, I know. Um, I have a couple pairs of these honeycomb leggings. They're super cute and they're really flattering. However, this particular brand, I don't know if you guys can see how wide the bottom of the legs are. So I'll put those in the for sale pile as well. I have these cute little like red and polka dot little leggings. I love these, so I think I'm gonna hold on to that pair. Then I have my Tribe 35 leggings. They're these super high cut ones. They're phenomenal and they fit me so great now. Love, definitely gotta keep those. Next up, we have some plain black Torrid leggings. It has like the little meshy cutouts. Um, I've worn these enough. I feel like I have enough lazy clothes. So I'm also gonna put this in the for sale pile. This is probably my favorite pair of LuLaRoe leggings. I just love them. They're super comfy. Y'all know I love all things spooky, ooky, horror. I'll keep those for now. I um, have these cute little pink, like, I don't know, ruched leggings. Um, they're a little thin for me and I got a lot of stuff to show. So we're also gonna put this in the to-go pal. This is my very first pair of LuLaRoe leggings that I got like five or six years ago. Um, that began my addiction. <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep those for now. And then I have this really pretty pair of like digital rose leggings. I'm also gonna hold on to those. I have this cute little tank top. I've literally been wearing this for like six years, but it's so damn flattering on and it's so pretty that I cannot get rid of it. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm holding on to it. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping. Next up is just a cute little champion hoodie that I stole from Caleb. Um, I'm gonna keep it obviously because it's not mine to get rid of, it's his. <laughs> Next up, I have a couple pairs of LuLaRoe leggings that I cut into like shorts to wear underneath my dresses just so I won't get chub rub. Um, when we go through the rest of my stuff, I'll decide because I have a couple pairs of like actual shorts to wear underneath. So I think I'm gonna put these in a maybe pile just for now. But that's a really good tip if something's maybe not fitting you the best anymore, something got too big, too small, cut them off and utilize them for something else. So that's gonna go in the maybe pile. I have this cute little pair of biker shorts. I'm gonna keep those. I have a couple pairs of plain black pop fit leggings. Um, these are pretty damn expensive, but they are super, super thick and I get incredibly hot when I wear them. So even though they're basically brand new and I spent a lot of money on these, <laughs> I think I'm gonna get rid of them. 
And then our last couple things in this drawer are this pair of like blushy colored shorts, also my next size down. I think though, because of the fabric, I don't actually like the fabric and it's really thin. So even though I didn't get to wear them yet, I'm putting them in the for sale pile. And then I had this cute little blue polka dot pair of leggings. So look at y'all, look. We're, we're, we're making progress, y'all. Let's check in. I'm gonna show you what the bed looks like. So there's what the bed is looking like. All right, beauties, I'm gonna basically do the exact same thing. I think I'm gonna speed part of this up. Um, maybe just give like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's just undergarments. Um, basically, if it's like stretched out, if it's older, if it's too big, running theme, um, then obviously we're gonna get rid of it. So <laughs> I'll speed some of this up so that we're not here for three years. If we are here for three years though, get your tacos and your tequila, your milk and your cookies, your Doritos, your Cheetos, your Fritos, your bang. And sit back and relax and enjoy the show. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here, even though you're not seeing my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have pontes. So again, I think I'm gonna make just a pile. We'll do keep back here and um, basically, I'm just going to give these to sisters or mom. They're not going to be sold, obviously. So keep and then give away. All right, beauties, we are at the closet. I'm officially over this already. I should do this more often because uh, it's a bit overwhelming. Um, we've gotten rid of a lot. Cannot wait for y'all to see the pile. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do my shoes today, but this is how I store my shoes in these little like pocket thingamajiggies. Got one on each side. This is all of my jeans, dresses, hang up stuff. Um, I don't know how well you're gonna see me once I actually get in here, but same exact thing. I'm going to say yay or nay, and if I can sell it, we'll sell it, and if it's just trash and stained and whatever, we'll get rid of it. Um, if I haven't worn it in a long time, getting rid of it, and if it's too big, obviously getting rid of it. So I think I'll start with the jeans. I have these, Rue 21, it says size 20 mid-rise, so I'll hold on to those, they're still brand new. We also have another size 20 brand new, I'm going to hold on to those as well. We have this Rue 21. I don't know what size. Also a size 20. That's awesome. I was so nervous I was not going to have any clothes on, but look, I already have three pairs. Um, next up is a pair of American Eagle. These are the next level stretch, size 22. So I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say they're going to be a little bit too big because all of my other American Eagle 22s are big on me. Um, I love their jeans. I love how distressed these are. They're very like 90s rocker ish um, style. I love American Eagle jeans, especially if you are curvy or you are more bottom heavy, like your girl. Um, I think for now I'm just going to throw these on the floor if it's going to be in the to-go pile. All right, next up is a, I don't know what brand this is, Ava and Viv. I don't even remember getting these, but they're size 20, so I will hold on to those as well. Next up is a almost famous in a size 20. Next up. <laughs> is a Rue 21 Curvy size 20. I will also keep these. Actually, I'm gonna put these to the side because I think these are gonna fit me really well because they're another brand that's made slightly larger. This is a, you want a better butt, um, size 20. I'm excited, you guys. And this, is an American Eagle the Dream Jean Stretch in a 22. I'm gonna try these on but again I feel like they're gonna be too big because most of my other 22s are pretty big on me so I'm sad to see these go. I love their jeans. I love the whiskering. I love the rise. I love the level of stretch. They're just I love American Eagle jeans. Anybody else? Um and then and then I don't know what brand these are. 
these are a 22 but these are newer i've done these in like my i tried all the size 22 jeans so you didn't have to and i think they're still going to work out so we actually still have a pretty fair amount of jeans i do also have a couple pairs up here that i'm guessing i put up here because they were either too big or too small so let me get these down all right, these are some cute little American Eagle, I call them pixie pants, cigarette pants, whatever. Um, they're also a size 22, I believe. Um, I don't know. Anyways, they were big back then. These are also a pair that Caleb, yes, a 22, but they are a very big 22. I would say closer to a 24, 26, like a slim 26. Cute as they are, they gotta go, that's a B. Next up is another pair of American Eagle jeans. Next level stretch in a size 20 that's gonna be great so we need to hang these up and then i have a pair that i have not worn yet these are old navy pop icon skinnies in a 22 i may try these back on if you did watch my i tried every jeans in a size 22 so you ain't got to these barely zipped up on my fat ass okay um but i'm thinking maybe they might fit also, do you guys want to see another try on? Maybe once I get into a size 20, kind of see how all the 20s fit in comparison to one another. I think I'm going to hold on to these. I think they might fit me now. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> and then last over here in this little pile is the Good American Jeans, also in a 22. I think these are going to fit me perfectly now. Although they were too tight in my thighs kind of previously, but they were already kind of big in my waist. Hmm. I really like these and I got them on sale. I mean, they were still expensive, but I got them on sale. I think I'm gonna try these on as well. And then I'll let y'all know. <laughs> so that's there. All right. So those are the jeans. Um, I have two of these sweaters. I really do like these. I think I'm going to hold on to them. All right. Sorry, Brett called. Um, anyways, these, I think are going to be a little bit too big, but I'm not sure. And I'd hate to get rid of all my winter stuff. Not really knowing what size I'm going to be by the winter time. So I'm going to hold on to both of these. I have this one and the really pretty mustard one right here. So I'll hold on to those. Um, I have this really pretty maxi dress, but it has slits in it that go all the way down. That's not my favorite. Um, I haven't even worn it yet. It is so beautiful. I love the fabric of it, but I am going to go ahead and declutter it just because I don't like slits in my stuff. Um, Next up, I have this really pretty dress from Rue 21. It, it is a 2X and it is a very big 2X, so it is too big. It is beautiful though. It is a maxi style. I love the length. I love everything about it. It's just too big. Sadly, I never even got to wear it. <laughs> so that is also going to go in our for sale pile. I have this beautiful dress that Miss Patrice sent me. I love it so, so, so much. I'm not getting rid of that until it's literally like falling off of me too big, okay? Um, I have this really pretty dress right here. It is a maxi with a beautiful kind of elbow sleeve. Um, I don't really wear it anymore and it's kind of more fall-esque, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I have this really pretty strapless dress. I have not tried it on in a very long time. I really love it. So I think I am going to try it on and see how it fits. <laughs> um, next up, I have this really pretty kind of formal dress it's like a midi length i just don't wear dresses like this i literally i don't go anywhere to wear anything like this so i think i'm gonna also get rid of this if you remember earlier in the video i had that really pretty mustardy orangey yellow camisole that i said i wear under one of my favorite dresses i love this dress it is beautiful i love the fabric on it i don't know if you can tell it has like this beautiful drape to it it has some stretch to it i love the low neck line i love that i can wear a bra it's beautiful and I would love to find more dresses like this. So I am 100% keeping that. Next up, I have this really cute jumpsuit, the pant jumpsuit. It does have pockets. I love the v-neck. I just don't wear it. I like to be able to go pee when I need to go pee and not be butt ass naked to get to go pee. So as beautiful as it is, as much as I love it, she has to go. Next up, I have this amazing dress by Eloquy. I got it a very long time ago. It's kind of my basic go-to little black dress. It is absolutely stunning. I love this dress, so I'm keeping it for sure. Next up, I have this beautiful skater style dress from Torrid that Miss Xenia sent me a long time ago. It does have pockets. And although I prefer a maxi dress, this looks so good on me. 
I'm going to have to keep it until it's too big. So I love it staying. Next up, this is kind of the same cut as this dress is, but this is a maxi length dress. Um, I like the little bit of embellishment that it has on it. I like that I can wear a bra with it. It is also kind of a heavier draped fabric. So this is also more winter time, but I'm definitely going to keep it until I cannot wear it anymore. This dress right here is so damn beautiful. It looks really, really nice on me. Um, I love the color. I love everything about this dress. It's just so pretty. Next up, I have this cute little, I call it like a little grandpa cardigan. I feel like I have enough um, that I can go ahead and get rid of this. But I have this cute little cover up here. And then I have my little top that I wear. And I also have a really cute pair of shoes that I wear with this outfit. So until it's super big and I just cannot wear it, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm definitely keeping this, like I said. I have my NASCAR Tech hoodie. I'm definitely going to hold on to that. I have this cute Polaroid um, sweatshirt. It was a 1X. I got it from a 21 like two years ago, I think. Um, and it never fit me. So I think it's going to fit this winter. I am going to hold on to it. I love the colors in it. I have this cute little blue shawl that I got from Royal Aura a long time ago. I love it. I have this Polaroid hoodie that Caleb gave me. Holding on to that. I have this cute little... I don't know what you call it, faux teddy bear stuff. I don't know, but it's super cute. Um, it's huge and it's been huge since I bought it, but it's super comfortable as well. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I have a comfy and my robe, which I'll keep. I have my Jack onesie and I have my little unicorn onesie. I think I'll keep the Jack one because it fits a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and declutter this one. I think I'm doing pretty damn good, y'all. This pile on the floor is huge and the pile on my bed is also huge. So, I'm going to pull this out. First up, I have, I don't even know what this is, if I'm being honest. Hence, doing a declutter. Oh, it's my little UTI shirt. Oh, I should try this on soon, too. I don't know if you guys saw a few months back. Um, I tried this on, and I was just very self-conscious in it um, because it was, like, super tight and, like, accentuated my belly. So I need to try this back on. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep it because, duh, represents my son. Next up is this really pretty piece right here. It is a long sleeve, like, duster style top, but it's, like, short here and then really long. Um, not really my vibe. I don't really know why I bought it, but um, it's cute, and I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. <laughs> Next up is a, another little tie-dye shirt. This one is also more of a Henley style with the little buttons. I love this shirt, so I'm going to keep and then I have this cute little pair of shorts. They are a size I don't really know. Um, they are a 20, so they should actually fit me pretty good now. So I'm going to try these on as well. Put them in the pile with the 20s. Let's grab another little pile. This shirt right here. This is mostly winter stuff too, if I didn't say. This is a long sleeve black kind of like tunic length shirt with the kangaroo pocket. I think it's probably going to be too big by the time winter rolls around, but I don't have a whole lot of winter clothing. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold on to it just for now. Same thing I think with this one. I love this shirt and y'all know I love this. I love green. There's, I love green. Um, it is like a high low long sleeve has like the little thumb holes. I think I'm going to hold on to that as well. And then I also have this one that is a tunic length. You will find that that's kind of my style. I like form fitting, but I like tunic length. I just feel more comfortable in a tunic length and I love the fabric. I like a nice soft kind of bouncy hand, if you will. So that is also a keep. I have these couple dresses also from LuLaRoe. I have two of these. I don't actually wear them as dresses anymore. I think I'm going to use these as nightgowns though. So I think I'll get better use if I put these in my pajama drawer. So I'm going to put those over there to use as pajamas. Um, I don't know why the hell I bought this. It's like a full one piece like unitard type thing. I got it to be able to wear under like my little jumpers or dresses. But again, I like to be able to go pee. So I never even wore it. It's got to go. Next up is like I said, I keep a bunch of these like little shaper panty things. I use them only so that my thighs don't rub together because chub rub is very uncomfortable. And then I have this maxi dress right here that I just don't wear anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that as well. We're almost there y'all. We are in the freaking home stretch. Here is another really pretty maxi dress. I love the colors of this, but it also has the long slit. So I don't know. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. I mean, I love it. I just don't like the slits. And I did not realize while purchasing it that it did have the slits in it. And I've never worn it. So that's also going to go. I have this maxi dress also. It's kind of that same type of fabric. I love that type of fabrication. And it's full length. I love the design on it, the pattern. So I'm going to be keeping this. This is pretty much all of like my little shorts that I wear underneath stuff. I have this like snakeskin print. I think from American Eagle, perhaps. I never wore them. I don't think I'm going to wear them, so I'm going to put those over there. I have bike shorts in lilac. I have this pair of bike shorts. I have camo bike shorts. I have a plain black pair and another plain black pair. So the two LuLaRoe leggings that I cut, and I was like, let me make sure I have enough to wear underneath my maxis. I'm going to go ahead and toss those. Um, so I have all of these shorts. I'm definitely going to keep all of these. Let me get close. Let me just get close. Do y'all see? Y'all see how sweaty mama is? I'm tired. I need a nap or a Gatorade or something. Anyways, last couple items. <laughs> this is a pair of shorts that are a Rue 21 size 22. I'm going to have to try these on. And there's another Rue 21 um, in a size 20. So I think these are going to be perfect. All right, um, I'm going to go show y'all everything we've gotten rid of. So we'll turn the camera around. That is my big pile of to go in here. And I know it's kind of dark. I do apologize. All of this is all the to go pile. Those are the two LuLaRoe things that I'm going to just get rid of. And that was the only thing I was keeping y'all. I'm so proud of myself. How do you think I did? Comment down below. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.